How's it going you guys? Bryce here with Suds and Go Mobile Car Wash and Detailing. And today I'm gonna to show you how I clean the steering wheel and the steering wheel column. This isn't to say that this is the best way out there. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other people who do this differently, but I'm gonna show you how I do this. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so here are just a couple of the items that I use as I am addressing the steering wheel, the dashboard, the center console. These are my necessities, the tools that I reach for the most. First and foremost is obviously a microfiber towel. You need to have one of these to wipe off all of the residue after you're all done scrubbing and cleaning. I use, of course, a detail brush. Buy these on Amazon. So you wanna get a good quality detail brush. A scrubber. You can tell that this thing is very well used and well loved. I love this rubber scrubber. And I don't even know what the heck this is called. I don't know that it has a brand name. I will link this in the description so you know where you can buy it, but I love this thing. And the reason why is because of the point right here at the tip. You know, you can really get into nooks and crannies really well and, and get in there and scrub. And uh, I love this. It's also ergonomic. It's easy to hold on to. Look at that. It like fits my thumb like a glove. And you can hold on to it really well. And it just, this is a, this is a beast of a tool, you guys. I love this thing. Of course, you're gonna need some type of APC, an all-purpose cleaner. In this case, I'm gonna be using PNS Express Interior Cleaner. This is a product that I have grown to love. I've heard of other detailers using other products that leave like weird spots on the plastic after it dries. I, I just, I can't stand products that are not 100% reliable. And I gotta tell you guys, this product right here has been 100% reliable for me. I've never had any issues with it at all. This is my go-to. I reach for this from all of my, uh, all of my steering wheels, my dashboard, center console, plastics, doors, door panels, this is what I use. And I know not everybody has one of these, but if you do, this is how you kick up everything that I just showed you up a notch. Yep, a steamer. Now, the one that I have here is my VX5000. I also use a non-abrasive blue scrub pad. That right there is also going to be something that we use today. One of the things that I'm doing is I'm being really careful around the knobs because of the white uh, paint decals that are on there that show the brights icon uh, to turn your brights on and off. If you scrub too hard, they can rub off. So while you're working on these pieces here, 
you do want to scrub gently and you, you notice that when I was steaming I it was not on there for very long at all it was really really quick just to get into the nooks and crannies and then it was done dried it off you move on all right so another thing that I'm gonna use is my air gun and here's why back behind the steering wheel where that mat folds up into the dash it creates a pocket where there's a lot of dirt and sand and all sorts of crap that can get lodged in there just to show you what i'm talking about and i'm trying my best to capture this but you can see little crumbs that are in there just dust over time things collect i am going to use an air gun with with a rubber tip to get in there spray it out it'll make my job a little bit easier All right, guys, look how clean that looks. Wrong. If you don't turn your car on and move these gauges around, look what happens. I'm gonna put this in reverse. Look at that. You don't see that if you don't do that. Let me, let me do that again. There's park, looks clean, right? Once that customer puts their car into reverse, they're gonna see that. It's the biggest bummer paying 250 to 300 dollars for an interior detail you park you put your car in reverse and boom there's a big old nasty stain right there right after you pay a lot of money to have your car detailed huge bummer all right guys steering wheel and column are done it is a thing of beauty man that looks good we are calling this van done okay,